back to Nan Kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you how to cook the Pad Thai recipe. Pad Thai recipe is very famous in Thailand. So let's see the ingredients. Well, uh, for Pad Thai noodles, we need the many ingredients. Here, I have already prepared ahead of time. And the important thing is the Pad Thai sauce. Also, I will uh, show it to you how to do it. And first of all, I have a cooking wine, sliced shallots, dry uh, shrimps, cubes, tofu, brown and white sugar. Uh, this is a fish sauce, chili flakes, roasted peanuts, spring onions, and I cut it in uh, like uh, one inch long and sprouted beans. I have two eggs. And I also have a shrimp. This shrimp is already marinated with the salt and pepper. The main thing is we need the noodles. I use the rice noodles. This is 50 millimeter long. This size is enough to make the buffet pad thai noodles. So let's see the preparation for the pad thai sauce. Now I'm going to show you how to make the pad thai sauce. So for the pad thai sauce, we need tamarind. This is a ripe tamarind. I soak it in the warm water so it's already dissolved. And we need like uh, one tablespoon of uh, fish sauce and uh, white and uh, brown sugar. So first of all, I will take the tamarind juice. And we will just a little bit rotate because you will take only the juice and you will just keep moving like this if you have ready made uh, you can find that the marine uh, base in the grocery store that will be much better for me i don't have ready so i use this tamarind base You will take some more. So that is enough. Then the leftover, you will just throw it and you will put the white and brown sugar it will be dissolved in the tamarind juice then you will add the fish sauce just mix it together for the meantime you can keep it aside while you are preparing for the noodles so for now i will keep it aside until the sugars are dissolved now for the second step while you are waiting for the tamarind sauce so we will soak the noodles in the uh, normal water and this is enough for one portion today i will just uh, show you how to make only for one portion then you will soak in the water normally i don't soak the noodles in the water i just cook directly in the fry pan but today just to save the time i soak the noodles in the water so just like 10 to 15 minutes you will soak so it will be easy and quick when you are frying now for the first cooking step we will fry the egg first now i have two egg and i crack it and I add salt and pepper and then you will mix it very well and until the fry pan is ready so now my fry pan is ready then I will add the cooking oil okay so that's fine then you will fry the egg with the low fire. So that's fine. Okay, 
Let's press with the egg. Some people, they add the egg while they are cooking the noodles. But for me, I want to add from the top of the noodles. So, for as a topping, so I fry separately. Then, then you will make it like this. So that's enough. That's enough. So we'll keep it aside. Now uh, we are going to fry the patai noodles. First of all, we will add the oil, and you will uh, fry with the medium flame, and just wait for one minute until the oil is ready. You can use the same fry pan which you fry the egg. So, no need to wash the fry pan so you save the time. Then, we add the sliced onion. So, we just fry it. Just saute a little bit. a small piece of onion only so this is good enough for the one person no need to be wait until the onion is turning to brown it's medium cook is enough so now I will add the dry shrimp dry shrimp then I will add a little bit, like one teaspoon of uh, sweet chili powder. This one will make the noodles color beautiful. Then you will add the tofu. This is the tofu. Just fry until the tofu is little bit become harder so it will not be cracked and uh, in the fry pan. I'm going to add the patai sauce. And the same time, we will add the noodles. And just turn it a little bit time to time. In case if you think that you need the oil, you can add a little bit oil until the noodle is become soft. Just be careful to pour with the tofu. Tofu can be braised. Just stir fry only. Then you will move slowly. Turn it to the other side. The noodles and the tofu. You can keep it the side. Now the important thing is you will fry only the noodles. Now I will fry the shrimp separately. Because I, why the reason I didn't fry with the noodles together? Because noodles will uh, take time to cook. Uh, so I don't want to be, shrimp will be overcooked. So I fry it separately. Then shrimp don't need to cook a uh, long time. So 
there. One is turned into the pink. So, I is ready. Okay. This one is now ready to mix with the noodles. All the ingredients are ready and now we are going to mix in our noodle pot. Now the noodle is soft and the shrimp is ready so we will mix it and the noodles. Then I'm going to add the sprouted beans then I will keep some for the garnishing and also for the spring onion I will put half wow oh, it's looking so delicious yummy the smell is so good The noodle is soft. Then this time I will add a little bit of chili flakes just to get the well balancing. As you can see, the sprouted beans are slightly cooked spring and an onion as well and all the mixtures are gone by well then I will add now the crushed peanuts I'll add the crushed peanuts just to get flavor more flavor then just one more time just mix it well see it's so nice Okay, so now our pad thai noodle is ready. Now we are going to do the plating. Well, now finally our pad thai noodle is ready. So now I'm going to do the plating. And then I need some spring onion for more flavor and sprout the beans then don't forget the fry egg which we fry earlier and here then I have lemon here right then I will add more sprinkle of peanuts and here I have red chili flakes. So that's perfect. But Thai noodle is ready. So I hope you like watching my videos. If you like my video, you can try it at home. For sure, you will like it. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you in next video.